through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. Shh. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter nap. Out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shadows and, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When? What to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. rapid than eagles his coursers they came and he whistled and he shouted and he called them by name now dasher now dancer now prancer now vixen on cupid on cupid on donner and blitzen to the top of the porch to the top of the wall now dash away dash away dash away all dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky so up to the housetop the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and saint nicholas too and then in a twinkling i heard on the roof Prancing and pawing of each little hoof, as I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes they were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he, he flung on his back. And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkle. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Ho, ho, ho. <sighs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but he went straight to his work and filled all the stockings in turn with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.